हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय क्लास आई डॉक्टर स्वाति पांड्या वेलकम्स यू टुडे वी विल कंटिन्यूइंग द सेम चैप्टर चैप्टर टू सेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन इन फ्लावरिंग प्लांट्स टुडे आई एल टीच यू टॉपिक्स द पिस्टल एंड द ओव्यूल द पिस्टल इज अ वेरी कॉमन वर्ड विच वी हैव मैनी टाइम्स रिवाइज pistil is representing the gynaecium part or the female reproductive part of a flower which is known as gynaecium pistil is the single unit of gynaecium actually the pistil may be single it is known as monocarpullary condition if more than one pistil are present the condition is known as multicarpullary multicarpullary may be of two types subtypes syncarpus and apocarpus syncarpus means pistils they may be fused together but in apocarpus condition more than one pistils are present but they are free here the structure of pistil that is shown you are observing on the screen now let us see the structure of pistil in detail the whole structure it represents a pistil and if you see the china rose flower this type of pistil that is observed you can here observe the three parts they are the former part or the uppermost part is stigma it is shown here followed by the style which is a elongated structure a slender part a tubular part you can see here from here to here at the base so at the base the ovary is situated which which is the basal bulged part of the pistil and it stands on thalamus thalamus we all remember you must have read in the 11th standard it is a thickened part of stem stem where the flower it develops it is known as pedicel so this pistil it is the main part of female reproductive part and the stigma here the pollens they land so this stigma they are also known as the landing platform for pollen grains and then only the fertilization event will be possible now let us recall few terms first it is placenta placenta it is located inside the ovarian cavity and uh, we have understood the types of placentation in your last standard 11th standard and uh, let us recall the names they are first marginal here the diagrams are also shown the pictures are shown then exile b is showing exile and parietal C is showing parietal. Fourth one is free central. So here the ovules they are situated in the central most part, and lastly basal. Basal only a single ovule is present here, and the best example is sunflower. So arising from here placenta, the megasporangia they are developed, which are commonly known as ovules. The number of ovules in the ovary they may be one, like in wheat, paddy, or mango. there may be many also like in papaya watermelon and orchids so all these are repetition only we have only revised this the main today's topic is megasporangium megasporangium is also known as ovule so here the structure of ovule we will discuss about so this whole structure it tells the ovule there are so many new terms today you will get first is let us revise the terms first then we will see the description so first is funicle second hilum third integuments fourth micropyle fifth chilesa sixth nucellus and lastly female gametophyte which is the main part of this event also known as embryo sac let us discuss the detail funicle 
funicle is an attachment of ovule to the placenta so this first part starting part it shows the funicle then after hilum hilum from here ovule fuses with the funicle so it is shown here this is hilum next is integuments each ovule is covered by one or two protective envelopes it may differ also sometimes one protective envelope is present sometimes it is absent also but here in ideal condition we are discussing two protective envelopes these envelopes are known as integuments so here this is one and this is another so outer integument and inner integument but at one place here this place which is a very important place this place is known as micropyle micropyle here the integuments encircle the ovules except here so it is actually a small opening and from here only when the seed it grows the water they enter so this is one of the importance of micropyle then the opposite part of micropyle this part it is known as chalaza so this is the basal part of ovule actually and it is exactly opposite to micropylar part next is nucellus the nucellus it is present in the central part of the embryo this uh, megasporangium actually and this is the mass of cell here the mass of cell and it is famous for its abundant reserve food material so where when the embryo will develop this nucellus it will help last and the main important part is embryo sac this embryo sac it is in our picture it is comparatively darker in color in the central most part so this embryo sac is also known as female gametophyte so it is inside located inside the nucellus so today we will we have taken only a little idea about this part uh, the remaining part we will observe in next session so today we will end here uh, mainly all these terms are very new their pronunciation their definition please revise it i hope you might be revising the previous sessions and uh, in next session we will be continuing the same topic we will be learning about the megasporogenesis and the later topics till then stay home stay safe take care of yourself as well as your family members